Welcome back to Elevate. I'm Dustin Driver. Now, we can do a bunch of segments on the show, but I'm wiping them all off because I run the show and I can. I make my decisions. Now, let me explain why. Today's the seventh episode, and I was like, oh, what song could we do? I was struggling. I was like, oh, Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. And then she had to say this. <sighs> Is there a graphic here? Why am I still on camera? We need more of a budget so I can hire an editor. Come on, Ariana. Not everyone has enough money. I know that from living in LA. Also, just bringing this up, it goes against everything I said on this show. Like, I'm a big Ariana fan. This one really hurt me. I just, I just couldn't do the song. I just couldn't do it. I was trying to preach on the show and she just shut it down. You know, when she says, oh, whoever said money can't solve your problems, must not have enough money to solve them. That's not true, people. Money just brings more temptation. It's going to make it more likely for your problems to come up. They don't just go away. It's like drinking, you know. I'm going to go out and drink, so I'm going to have a good time. No, they're still going to be there in the morning. Ugh. Money just brings you more power, you know, more temptation. I hope people understand that. Don't think, oh, all my problems in life are going to go away because I have money. It's not true. Not true. It's sad. I really wanted to do this song, but I couldn't. Anyway, with that said, welcome back to Elevate. Now, to keep you guys updated, to start the show today, I want to tell you what I want to do here in Los Angeles. Why am I here? And thanks to Ariana, I can do that because she wouldn't let me do face to music today because she's so cocky. No, I really do love Ariana Grande. I'm a big fan. Now, my first idea here in Los Angeles is a comedy. Oh, wow. Man, I must think I'm funny. I have a comedy show here. I have a comedy show that I'm trying to develop. I must be funny. Anyway, my first show is Broke Boys in Hollywood. Who can relate to that? This guy can, I promise, because he's broke. Anyway, let's get into what this show is about. What is Broke Boys in Hollywood about? I don't know, it seems pretty self-explanatory to me right in the title. Let's get more into it. Broke Boys in Hollywood is about four friends. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, it's kind of nice. I wouldn't use the word friends. Four buddies, we use buddies, the buddy system. Who doesn't like to use that? Four buddies who moved out to Los Angeles to chase the dream. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that, anything funny. Uh, just, you know, not believing in people. Uh, whatever. <laughs> well, it is a comedy, of course, so they're chasing the dream. They are four quality TV people, I will tell you that. Now, this show, you know, is currently being developed. I've only done the character development, you know, so far. But I'm going to write a script, and I will definitely get this out to you guys. And I hope to start filming very, very soon. Now, let's go over the characters. Roddy, Chad, Harold, and Gerald. Who names their kids Harold and Gerald? That is unfortunate. Poor mother. And the reason I say that, Harold and Gerald are twins and they're complete opposites, so we'll get into that real soon. Let's start with Roddy. Roddy is your SoundCloud rapper, you know, we all know how they are, and a dreamer who basically forgets to release tracks and loves to sing a life. When I say sing a life, he uh, falls in love with a new girl each weekend at the bar. Does that remind you of anybody? Being a hopeless romantic who could fall in love easily? Hmm. I don't know, I'm trying to think. Oh, I don't know, I can't think of anybody, but you know. Also, Roddy has a great tagline. Roddy with another hobby. Oh, I can't wait to see that tagline in action. It's gonna be amazing. Let's move on to Chad. I mean, does his name give it away? Chad is your typical frat bro who is unemployed and likes to party. Does anyone see a problem there? You can't party if you don't have money. Anyway, Chad, you know, he's Roddy's biggest supporter, so I do preach for that. He also enjoys beer, as I mentioned, party, and he doesn't know what a job is, which you'll find out because it's not in his the Dictionary of Bros. And you'll see more about the Dictionary of Bros when this show premieres because jobs don't apparently fall in the Dictionary of Bros, so can't wait to show you that. Now, let's move on to Harold. Harold is a comedian who thinks he's so funny. I mean, does that remind you of anybody? Someone who thinks they're really funny. I'm struggling to recognize people today. Anyway, Harold, as I mentioned, is a comedian. He's down for any spontaneous adventure, and he loves to party every weekend without money. Oh, these people, they don't understand. Partying takes money, but they don't care. Also, Harold, which he gets the most slack for, is he doesn't have any game with the ladies. Oh, he thinks he does. He thinks he's a very smooth pimp, but 
his success rate will show otherwise, and you'll see when the show comes on because he has some of the worst pickup lines ever. Uh, can't wait to see what they are. Let's move on to his twin, Gerald. Gerald, you know, Harold being a comedian. Gerald is the serious one, and that, that's gonna match well. A comedian with a serious one. That is just match made in heaven to be twins. No. Gerald, you know, he actually does have some aspirations in life. He wants to be a doctor, but he's currently unemployed and seems like he can't find a job anywhere. Can anyone relate to that? take, you know, a part from each character, and that's why I wrote this show. <laughs> Gerald is currently married, so, you know, he's taking care of the lady, and he's a good, well, he's a good husband. Chad is a terrible boyfriend. We'll get into that more later. But, uh, Gerald is currently mar married, but he wants to start a family, and it's a problem because his wife doesn't want any kids. Oh, how sad. Now, people are like, oh, you should know that when you're married, but, you know, Gerald really didn't want kids until he had a life-changing experience, and you'll see what that is on the show. And now he wants kids, so... Uh, I can see this one go off. These are four quality people that should belong on TV any day. Next thing I want to do here in Los Angeles, and I've definitely shared this before, uh, I have a big interest in music, a big interest in writing, so... Easy, I want to write an EP. Uh, I want to songwrite my entire EP. Obviously, I can't sing too well, so you know, someone else about to sing for me, and I've been working on that. But you know, yeah, definitely write an EP. I have two songs that are currently written. Uh, one's called Mistake, and one is called Just Stay Home. So that's, hopefully those titles are intriguing to you guys. And you know, I want to write three more songs. I'm currently in the middle of my third song, so I don't know the title yet. But I want to write a five song EP, so stay tuned, and hopefully my project will be out soon. The next thing I definitely want to do here is uh, grow my YouTube show. Uh, obviously, I've already started it, and you guys always laugh with me, so I appreciate that, and hopefully I inspire you as well. But yeah, definitely I'll uh, make my YouTube show a little bigger. Uh, I definitely want to start collaborating with people. My first, like, six or seven episodes, I definitely had the goal of uh, not caring about the views and not caring about, you know, how many people are subscribed, because I wanted to find the real passion in it. Uh, find the direction for it, but now that I think I have found the direction for it, uh, within my first six episodes, I'm taking a little break here in episode seven, but within my first six episodes, I definitely want to start growing the channel. Uh, I'm not afraid to collaborate anymore or, you know, share it with somebody so they can come on my channel, just because I actually believe in it now and I know which direction it's going in, and I definitely want to start interviewing people. Uh, that's definitely a way to grow your channel, and hopefully I can have some great interviews on here. Uh, I've already reached out to some people, and hopefully I hear back, and Hopefully I get some people on the channel for you. Uh, and eventually I want to interview, uh, obviously, like top name celebrities about mental health. I've mentioned that before, uh, just a brief uh, synopsis here, you know? Just interview people on mental health. I want a real interview, not these phony interviews that are, oh, your upcoming tour or stuff like that. So I want a real interview about people's issues so people can understand celebrity struggle too. Uh, and I was thinking, I was like, oh, that's a good question. Three people I want to interview on this show, uh, definitely BB Rexha would be the first one. Um, when she came out with her bipolar disease and tweeted that, I thought that was amazing. I would love to have an open floor discussion uh, with Phoebe Rexley. Phoebe Rexley being a part of it. Uh, Demi Lovato is an easy one for me. Uh, we all know about Demi Lovato's struggles and what she's been through. So I feel like obviously she's a perfect candidate for the show. And you know, those two are in music, but I would definitely want to interview the ladies of the real as well. Uh, my brother and I have been to four shows as I've mentioned. And as I mentioned on my first episode, uh, in my inspirations, you know, they each inspire me in a different way, and uh, like I said, I want a panel of people on there, uh, not just interview, maybe I can interview like one person at a time sometimes, but I want it to be an open floor discussion, uh, more of a discussion than, you know, a one-on-one -on -one interview, so I feel like interviewing a cast like that would be perfect, so definitely the ladies of the real would be uh, a number one choice for me as well. And we can have an open discussion on what they've been through, and uh, you know, as they've shared some on the show, so we can talk about stuff like that. And, Hopefully that's the next step for me. We cover pop culture, uh, whatever's going on in the world. We would give our reaction to it. But we go, we would give our reaction in more about uh, you know how it impacted us instead of just talking about it and giving a simple reaction. You know, what what inspiration did it have on us? That'd be awesome. Also, we're gonna have a rant of the week. That is. Who doesn't want to miss that? My first rant is going to be legendary, so keep an eye out for that. Oh uh, yeah, so definitely we would have a rant of the week for about like 30 seconds where we both get to talk about something. Uh, that's really, you know, grinding the gears as people say. So yeah, definitely uh, we've developed our YouTube show, but I want to start filming as soon as we can and get weekly episodes out for you. And I think they're going to be out every Friday, but I'm not going to promise that. Hopefully it'll happen very soon and we'll keep you updated.
And last thing I want to do, damn, it seems like I'm so busy. No, I've definitely been working hard. I want to create as many projects as I can. Uh, not all of them are successful, obviously, but definitely want to find that one successful one. Uh, would definitely be our podcast here with my friend Alex and my brother Dylan. Uh, it's called We Don't Know What We're Doing. And as you can tell by the show or the podcast, if you listen to it, we really don't know what we're doing. And that's just how my life is. That's how it sums up. It was a great title created by my brother. I have to give him mad props for that. Uh, we talk about anything from the royal family, like do you want to be a part of it, the trendy news with Taylor Swift and Scooter Braun, uh, Drake and the Raptors. We talk about anything on there uh, and give our opinions. We also get personal and share some personal stories like, you know, I describe that I'm a hopeless romantic like I will on this show. Uh, and, you know, anything like that. So it's a great podcast. And I definitely want to, you know, make it a little more well-known, make it the number one listen to podcast. That's definitely the goal. Uh, yeah, like I said, we talk about a variety of topics, so hopefully you take a listen and hopefully it'll be bigger than it is right now, because that's the goal here in LA. As always, thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe down below, definitely if you give us a view. You can be nice and give it, you know, hit the button and subscribe. Also, if you also watch, tell your grandma to subscribe, but who else? Tell your grandfather, mother, unless her name's Stacy, because I don't want to deal with that father, friend, some random, you know, guy or girl you run into the street, anyone you see, say, hey, subscribe to that awesome guy's channel because it's awesome. No, <laughs> so today, even though it's a little different, in close time, I always give an inspirational tweet. And today's tweet is from Johnny Bananas. And I was like, mm, Johnny Bananas is a big personality. Just look at his name. No, <laughs> Bananas, you know, nickname. No, Johnny Bananas, you know, he's been on The Real World, The Challenge, he has his own show on NBC. He was famous for being on X on the Beach. And the guy didn't even appear on it, so I definitely respect this grind. And I like him on the challenge, even though some people, that might not be the case. They might dislike him. I love him, so keep rolling, Johnny Bananas. He says, my favorite childhood memory is not paying bills. I was like, oh, this guy's smart. Oh, don't we all miss that when we didn't have to pay bills? I mean, do I really have to sum this one up? I'm in LA, it's so expensive. The rent's expensive. That billionaire didn't pay my college bills, so I still have to pay the college loans. You know, poor guy over here, I have to pay college loans. Any other bills that come along? If you want to network or go out and meet people at a bar and club, that costs money. You have to buy drinks. So yeah, everything you do here might cost money unless you like go hiking or something. I don't know, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna just, you know, try to hike one day. Maybe it's free. No, but yeah, like seriously guys, I'm trying to get to know people. So you know, a bar is expensive. Ugh, stressful times. Finances are not easy here in Los Angeles, but you have more opportunity than other places. So I'll definitely take it. Uh, definitely uh, something I want to you know, describe for the next upcoming shows. I want to dive deeper into my inspirations. Uh, I want to do full episodes on that. I will definitely you know, have normal episodes with face to music and either another segment that backs that up. But you know, episodes here and there, I definitely want to start diving deeper into my inspirations. Uh, like Jake Miller, Drake, The Real, Camila Cabello, all as I've seen, whoever I mentioned on the show and I forgot, I apologize. But yeah, I want to have episodes here and there that, you know, dive deep into my inspirations and really why they inspire me, as long as having, you know, normal episodes that I've had so far. So yeah, that's what's coming up. Uh, so definitely don't miss those because they'll be inspiring. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday.